what the brothers intended for evil, God accomplishes the good. This is the way of our Lord. He accomplishes the good for those who love him. And yet, in the midst of each individual storm, we're often caught in the midst of that trap, unable to see the calm and the peace that resides outside of our moment, outside of our attack, outside of the hate and the despair, the contrition and the vice that we find ourselves in. We often forget that our God, the living God, who promises to come where we are to deliver us by the Son, Jesus Christ, who went to the cross and shed his blood there for us, that through him the war has been won. Though the battles rage, though we get stuck in the midst of the arrows, the war is already won. The good is accomplished for you and me by the blood of Jesus. So the brothers wanted to get rid of their brother, Joseph. They hated him. They hated his dreams. They hated his coat. They hated that their father loved him and loved him more. So they sold him into slavery. Oh, what a horrible thing. They attempted all sorts of evil. And Joseph is sold to a man named Potiphar. Potiphar, the captain of the guard in Egypt, an official of Pharaoh, the king. And so he puts him to work in his house. What a strange place. What a burden to be under. What a dark moment for Joseph. A new country, a new language, a new people, no friends, no place to, to see any comfort. Perhaps there are times in your life when you see that too, or feel that too, that you're alone. And yet, the Lord promises not to leave us alone in the midst of even the darkest of our battles or the moments that we think are of the greatest despair. He promises to be there and to work the good for those who love him. And who is it that loves the Lord? Those who have been called by the gospel, enlightened with his gifts, sanctified and kept in the true faith. Those for whom he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful flesh, which do not want us to hollow God's name or let his kingdom come, and when he keeps us firm in his word and faith until we die. This is the work and the will of our God. So in a foreign country, in a foreign place, in this strange house, a woman who was not his wife but was the wife of another cast her eyes upon the handsome Joseph. And we see in the midst of this strange and horrible storm, the Lord sustained Joseph. As an example to us, to point us to the cross and to Jesus, but also to work good for the people in that time and in that moment. For this is still the God who hears the prayers of his people, who knows our suffering, and who comes down to deliver. So, dear Christian, do not despair in your moment of darkness. The light has come, and it shines upon you. The war is won. You are the victor with Jesus.